everybody, it's Lindy Tate from Tater Buggin. I'm combining a little art journal tutorial along with a um, review on the Gen Crafts acrylic paints. You'll see here the way they were packaged and these are the colors I chose for this project. I have a little board book. It's a children's board book from the Dollar Tree that I'm using to uh, make a little art journal. These work great um, for just small art journals that you can finish quickly, but you have to make sure you sand the pages a little bit. If they're glossy pages, you want to sand that shine off so that it'll take whatever medium you use in it and you can decoupage you can make mixed media as you saw on the first page as I did I just wanted to try a vertical two-page spread for this piece so I've got the sanding done and now what I'm going to do is cover these two pages with gesso my plan for this is just a simple acrylic painting, so I want to coat it with gesso first to have that grip for the paint. I think you could get away with using white chalk paint for this step if you don't have gesso. I mean, it's a simple $1.25 children's board book. It's worth a try. Use what you've got. I'm not worrying about full coverage here because, like I said, I'll have a whole acrylic painting over the top of it, so none of that should show through. These little books um, make for instant gratification if you just have a few minutes to create a piece of art open up one of these books and just add it. Have fun in it. You don't have to worry about it. And there's Sarge. Now it's dry and I've just penciled out an abstract piece that I want to do for this two page spread. I chose my colors that you saw in the beginning. I just mixed three reds together, light, medium, and dark to get a color that I liked. This was so much fun to do. Really relaxing, really therapeutic. You don't have to think too much. Now I'm going to go for the blues. I'm just gonna mix them together till I get a color that I like. And I honestly kept changing this color blue up a little bit. Added a little more of the light blue. Almost didn't make that bottom part show, did I? Need to work on those video editing skills. Now for the greens. The greens gave me a little bit of trouble. This one was way too transparent for me. So, add a little darker green. And by this point, I could tell um, several of these were going to take two coats, which is no big deal. Mm -hmm. 
I didn't worry about staying within my lines perfectly either because I knew I was going to tighten it up with uh, some outlines and it's abstract so it is what it is you know no rules that's what I love about art journaling mixed media abstract painting there are no rules This is where I'm going in and uh, just doing a little outlining, defining. Mm -hmm. Going in with second coats on some of this until I liked the color. Bit of shading this is actually my inspiration was an abstract piece that I saw at a local restaurant it was a canvas piece and I knew immediately I wanted to try to do it in my art journal And there it is, all finished up. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you'll subscribe. Bye.